And if we can just lift our hands up before a holy God. Come on, let's tell the Lord that we love him this morning. Amen. That we adore him this morning. That we place no one before him this morning. Amen. So many times we give out of ourselves. But God has set this time aside. Amen. For that he can pour back into us. So this morning, let's lift up our hands before him. Hallelujah. We want everything that we do and say to be a sweet sound in his ear. Let our lives be a sweet sound. The words that we minister be a sweet sound. Amen. Everything that we touch be a sweet sound unto God. Hallelujah. And let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. And let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Let our praise.
That's it, bless the Lord. That's it, bless the Lord. Come on. Come on, bless the Lord this morning. Early will I seek thee, O oh Lord. My heart is indicting a good matter. That's it, clap your hands one more time for him. Come on. Come on. Come on. better than that. For this call, for this call, for this call, come on, come on, come on, come on, that's it, come on, come on, don't be cute with it, come on, give it to him, give it to him, come on, that's it, come on, 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 Father, we thank you. 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 Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Father, we thank you this morning as we come and gather. The saints have gathered themselves together in one place, one accord. And we thank you for a mighty outpouring this morning. Thank you, Father, for our set man, Father, our apostolic Father. Thank you, Father, for our presiding bishop, Father. Thank you for the gift to the body of Christ this morning. Thank you for elect lady, Elder Stacey Dinsmore, Father, and the family. Father, thank you for community tabernacle and CCOG and every man and woman of God that you have preordained and predestined before the ages of the world were formed. Now, Father, here we are in your presence. Speak to us. We're at this, we at this, we sit at the feet of your, we at the feet of you. Thank you for the green, thank you for the dream that is inside of us. Thou hast prepared a body for us, and for this cause have we come into the world. For lo, it is written of us to do thy will. And we thank you for this right now. We have the unction to function. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being here. Now, Father, take this earthen vessel. Let the treasure come forth. Father, we thank you for renewing minds. Thank you, Father, for causing us to mount up with wings as eagles. Speak to us like never before, all day long. Somebody say all day long. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, before you clap those hands, I want to ask you something. How would you praise him if you knew the thing that you was praying about was already done? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. wait, 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 wait. How would you praise him if it was already tangible in your hands? Pastors, how would you praise him if you had the keys in your hand right now? 
How would you praise him if your sons and daughters was already saved and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost? How would you praise him if, if, if everything was all right? Now, what I want you to do, say, neighbor, excuse me, excuse me. I know it's early in the morning, but excuse me. I want you to praise God like that thing is already done. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Wait, wait, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Now, I got a problem with this. I got a problem with this because you know sometimes you are laying upon your bed praying. That's the only reason why you're here because you need God to work something out. Now, now listen, faith speaks what it believes. Come on here, y'all. And I said it, I'm going to say it again. If you knew the things were done, how would you praise them then? Think, 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 think. You're being killed with it. If it was already done. All right, he ain't done nothing for you. You ain't look, you ain't ready. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You ain't, you ain't, all your bills was paid. You don't need nothing from the Lord. Somebody say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We got dreamers in here. Now, how far your neighbor say, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Gonna get the victory. I already had the victory. Thanks be unto God, which causes us to triumph. I am more than a conqueror. Before I even got here, somebody trying to hold something over your head. Your past. God said it's already covered. Hallelujah. I ain't even thinking about that. Hallelujah. For all things work together to what a good in that power. Let's go. Let's go. Let me do this. Let me do this. Hallelujah. Y'all gonna turn this into a tent revival. Hallelujah. We come here. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. But if, can we get 10 seconds of just oh, come on? Because they tried to kill your dream and it's still alive. Come on, y'all. Look at your neighbor say, help me, help me back to my seat. Help me, help me sit down. Because if I think of one more thing, I'm telling you. All right. Let the dreamers sit. Now go ahead and help them. Go ahead and help them. Say name is already done. It's already done. It's already look in front of you. Say name is already done. Tap the person on the side and say it's already done. One, two, three, whoa! Hallelujah! Come on, we let's let's move. Lord have mercy. Y'all gonna turn this into a Holy Ghost tent revival? Hallelujah. Well, bless God, we're glad to be here this morning. Amen. Somebody just scream one good time. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Well, be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's thank God. Amen. For our host and hostess this morning, my father, our bishop, our father. Amen. Amen, the elect lady, amen, of this house and of CCO. 
Y'all can do better than that. Come on, y'all. That's it. Thank God for them. Thank God for all the pastors and the bishops and the apostles, my covenant brothers and sisters of CCOG. Amen. We thank God for all those that are on their way. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, He's, it's going to be like this all day long. Hallelujah. And when I get back tomorrow morning, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Well, I thank God for this open door of utterance. Amen. That the Lord has set before the foundation of the world. I want to thank God for being here this morning. Amen. Amen. The Bible says your gift make what? Room for you. And how many know it's just not your gift or your singing or your preaching ability and all that. But the Bible says in Ephesians 4, and he gave gifts unto men. Hallelujah. In the, in the fivefold. And my gift has made room for me. Not only is my gift, amen, but he's a gift to the body of Christ. In the person of presiding bishop, apostle Michael G. Dinsmore. Amen. Amen. Let me just say this. You know, when we come together as leaders, the hunger to be taught, your hunger to be taught, and our hunger to be taught must be as great as our hunger to teach. Amen. Let me say it again. Our, the hunger, our hunger to be taught must, must be as great as our hunger to teach others. Amen. Great leaders are great learners. Amen. And you never stop um, learning. Knowledge is powerful. Amen. 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 Um, I thought about something. I was Thursday night at the service, in our service back at home. We had questions and answers. And I said, you know what? When I preach tonight, we'll just do questions and answers. Because there's things that we go home with. We hear certain things. We read our Bible and we lack understanding. So I just opened up the floor. Young people and everybody together. And we did that. And um, it turned out very beautiful. I asked them. I put the question there. And they loved it. Amen. Um, I even learned something. I learned something. Amen. Out of the book of Revelation. Because you know we, we try to stay out of that book. Amen. Amen. But we thank God for being here this morning at the gathering of dreamers. Amen. Um, Genesis chapter number 37, just um, something that I just kept hearing. I've been saying it for the last couple of um, weeks. And um, I know that it's going to bless you. It's going to empower you to have success in this walk. Amen. How many dreamers do I have in here this morning? You're a dreamer. Amen. You're a visionary. Genesis chapter number 37. Let's just go to verse number 3. 37 and 3. No, we, need, we just need to skip around. I'll put it all together like a cake mix. Or to bake it with. Genesis um, 37 and 3. When you're there, say I am. Now watch this. It says, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. Skip down to verse number five. Um, and Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it. Okay, skip down to verse number six. It says, and he said unto them, here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. Okay, for behold, I mean, don't miss this. Check this out. Mm -hmm. It's very important. All right. And then. His brothers in verse 8, they answer him back concerning to his dream. And verse number 9, it says, and he dreamed yet another dream. And he told it his brethren and said, behold, I have dreamed a dream more. In other words, there's one more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the 11 stars made obeisance to me. And he told his, it to his father. In other words, he's, he's sharing his dream. Now, I, I, I know this is true, and I do not negate this fact um, that you have to be careful who you share your dream with. Uh-huh. You got to be careful. How many know that's right? And you definitely don't share it with half-brothers because they don't have the same bloodline as you. Come on. And um, though you can have the same mother, the, the same father, um, but you're being nurtured differently because a mother is a nurturer. Uh, talk to me. Amen. And um, he, he shares the dream twice. Pharaoh had the dream two times. And when Joseph began to interpret the dream, uh, I'm just going to share a couple of things, and I'm going to get 
right out the way. Notice that Pharaoh, the Lord revealed the dream to Pharaoh twice. And if you read Genesis 41 and I believe 32, um, it, it will read it thus. Now watch this. 32, yeah. I'm trying to remember this, y'all. One of my goals is this, and I, I share with my church. I want to, as I grow, that the word of God gets so in me, I don't need a Bible. I just come and speak out of my spirit because it's God in me. Yeah. It's Christ in me, the hope of glory. All right? And um, 32 says, and for that dream was double. In other words, God repeated it unto you, Pharaoh, twice. Twice it is because the thing that you dream. This is why God said it twice. Anybody ever receive a confirmation more than once? You got a witness in your spirit more than once. Now watch this. Joseph says to Pharaoh, you know why God gave it to you more than once? He showed you the same thing more than once. And it got greater as the more and more he showed it to you. Because how many know God gives it for, uh, to us line upon line and precept upon precept? Uh-huh. So now he tells Pharaoh, he said, the reason why the thing was revealed to you twice is because it's already established and prepared by God. So in other words, it ain't nothing that you got to manipulate and try to control it to happen. Come on here, y'all. Because you know, we, we love doing things ourselves. We say, we, I'm going to work this out. They're going to do this. How many know? But every dreamer, there's some things that you're going to need. I'm going to show this. I'm writing the book. I hope to have it out by next year. It's coming from this. and It's called The Interpretation of the Interpreter. Mm -hmm. Because the only way for you to see your dream, you got to get and help somebody else's dream. Oh, come on here, y'all. See, Pharaoh, that's not his name. That's his title. And we need to hook up under somebody. And listen, the only reason why Joseph got there, and you know what the Lord said something to me? I was, I was worshiping him and while, while I was preparing myself this morning. I was worshiping in, in, um, in, in our laboratory at home, restroom, bathroom, okay? Um, I was in there worshiping, and I was just standing there, and I began to speak in my heavenly language and pray in the spirit. Uh, I mean, you know, there's a difference between praying in the spirit and praying with the spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh, First Corinthians, check it out. All right, let's move on. So I was in there, and the Lord said something to me. He said, if you really look at it, Joseph never murmured and complained. The Bible never records that he sat up and said, they did this to me, and you don't know how many times they hurt me, and man, I'm just tired of them. You won't find that in there. Because listen, when you're in a situation, you have to learn not to walk by the situation, but you're walking by revelation. And that's what keeps us while we're going through stuff. Come on here, y'all. Come here, three Hebrew boys. Even if he don't, he's already revealed himself before. And somebody, we got to, we, as leaders, and, and, and as people of God, we have to learn how to maintain that posture. We got to be able to say, even if he don't. And you know what? That turns God on when you have that kind of tenacity. When you have that bulldog faith, y'all ever watch a bulldog? They get their teeth on something and they refuse to let it go. Who did you never say? I refuse to let my dream die. You can talk about me, try to prophesy, prophesy, lie, put pennies around my door, leave lemons around. You better go ahead and make you some lemon juice because I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Somebody shout, there shall be glory after this. That's what keeps me. That's why I can praise in the midst of a fire. Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now watch this. So he says, he says, Joseph, um, Pharaoh, you know why God showed it to you twice? Because number one, it's already prepared and God will shortly bring it to pass. Do I have anybody that God just showed you a dream more than once? He's trying to give you a, a little encouragement along the way. Hallelujah. Number one, that it's already going to happen. Hallelujah. Come on here, y'all. You seeing your son say, you seeing the church feel, well, I might as well put my business out there. You know what? We, we, and I don't apologize for the way I am. Hallelujah. My father came. He came, uh, when was it, last week? And, and, he, and he taught me. And he said, you know what? When you look at the name, because how many know if, if it's going to be what God called it, you got to name it what God named it. Come, come here, Mary. Don't call him something else. You call him Jesus. And, and watch this. What you call it, they need to interpret it. Lord, 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 help me here this morning. Help me here. Help me here. Watch this. You call it Jesus, but they call him Emmanuel. God with us. What I'm trying to tell you is this. You have the dream. 
and you give it a name. Okay, community churches of God. But we are, we shall interpret it, God with us. So every time we gather, it's God with us. Oh, come on here, y'all. And how, and how you going to have a dream without seeing it? Okay, now watch it, watch it. You know the amazing thing about this? I want you to, I want y'all to notice something right here. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to talk now. Hallelujah. That was just a little appetizer. Listen, speak life. Look at them say, speak life. I've been talking about that. Uh, you, you know what the Lord said something to me? He said, this is what I want you to do. Every time you come here in this little community center and you and y'all gather for service, I want you. And he just told me this like two weeks ago, and, and, I, and I've been sharing it. He said, I want you to take down every empty chair that you think is empty. Because where are the people going to sit when they come? See, you waiting for the church to get filled to take out the rest of the chairs. Hallelujah. And, and what he did was, so we started going by the chairs. We say, now we're just going to go by and share love. We started going to what seemed like empty chairs. And I was like, hey, man, how you doing, mother? Mm, how you doing? Hey, 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 brother, how you doing? High five, man, you look so good. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'll shake your hand, hallelujah. And I started going by, and people started calling me crazy and stuff like that. But you know what? When I turned around, people were coming through the doors. God, look at your neighbor and say, God got a way that you know not of. Come on, come on, come on. Last night I was talking, I was talking to my mother last night, and you know, when we were just sharing, and I said, you know what? I told her, I said, in the morning, I, I'll, be, I'll be in Connecticut, you know, and my, you know, because my uncle had died yesterday, and I get back with the family. I had so much running around to do, and we talked. I said, you know what? I said, it's becoming like that, because you know what? I realized how to speak life. See, I'm not going to sit up here and murmur and complain about what I'm going through and what I don't have, because watch, I realize greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Now, let, and if I don't have it, I need to speak to the mountain and tell it to get... So, you know what I said to her? I said, you know what? One of them days, Mom, I'm telling you, you're going to turn on that television. You're going to be like, that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Listen, and I'm not waiting for you to prophesy to me. I speak life to my own situation. A lot of us, we wait for somebody to call us out and lay hands. I lay hands on my own self and say, I am the head and not the tail. And I don't walk by what I see. I walk by what I saw. I just, I just, I just dropped something. I just dropped something. I just dropped something. Look at your name and say, you don't walk by what you see. You walk by what you saw. Look at your name and say, learn how to live in your past. You gotta learn how to live in your past. And see, when I say past, I will unrenewed mind. You think I'm talking about your, all your mistakes. I'm not talking about your mistakes. Ephesians 1 said we were predestined in him before the foundation. So listen, I already see the cathedral. I already see the balcony. I ain't worried about that because if it's not here, I call it. And the more I call it, the more it come. Hallelujah. Let there be light, and light got to... And I'm not here just giving you something I read in a book. I'm telling you what God had to reveal to me himself. I'm not telling you what Creflo said. I'm not telling you all that all they can do. Listen, by the time I hear from them, it ain't nothing but another confirmation to me. Because God speaks to me in the quiet place. Look at the neighbor and say, what you waiting for? You know what I do? You know what I do at home? I say, those of you that are coming, it's offering time. Those of you come out the balcony and people start laughing. Because I'm not living by what I see. I live by what I saw.